Well, thanks for coming back and watching me again. A lot has happened since our last uh, last time together. Let me uh, kind of show you what's been going on. So you can see me there. I'm building a, the platform that I'm standing on right now. But instead of stopping where the cliff started, I just continued out. Then I went down a level and I started filling out a second level. In a moment, I need to show you from a camera that can look toward those other levels that I'm building uh, because you'll see that I'll finish filling out the wall on the right hand side and then you'll see me fill out the, the, the floor. What I want to show you is the rest that went on underneath that floor after I got it all filled out. And so now you see that that I continued out underneath that floor. And as I continued out underneath that floor, I just kept building out over the cliff, which is actually building out over several mines and uh, factories that I had underneath it. And then I built a second floor under it and then a third floor under it. So now basically I have four floors that are building out right now. And you can see how they're getting bigger and coming out this direction now. And now I'm gonna build that the second lower floor out. And, and really I did all this while I was off from you because simply it's a situation of, you know, this can get kind of boring. It's a, it's the part of the build out that's, that, that's not so interesting, at least in my mind. But I could show you at least a quick time lapse as, as you even see the, uh, <laughs> the monsters and creatures floating around and doing it now. I also go down to the next level. So now I've got four floors underneath that main floor. I have three coal mines down the hill on the other side that are at this point unused. What I'm going to do now is, is show you some perspective on what I've got going here. I also want to show you a new toy that I got. I got tired of trying to work on my keyboard. So I got a, if I can get it pointed to the, ca the right part of the camera here. I got a gamepad, okay, and so it's the Tartarus gamepad, and hopefully the days of me figuring out which key is what and where and stuff and getting confused with me wanting to use it like a keyboard when WASD isn't naturally where gamers would use WASD, uh, the gamepad allows me to to shift that into the proper place under my fingers and allow me to eat more easily use it. As I get used to the gamepad, hopefully I'll, you'll see less errors as I, uh, as I work that way. So I'm gonna get back on my uh, trusty steed over here that I'm learning to drive. Uh, thank you so much for all your comments too. Uh, hopefully I've responded to everybody that's commented, especially useful with a couple tips provided by a user that allowed me to help me understand a little bit more about the hotkeys that are available. I'm going to try to use those as I as I learn more. And th this is a fun ride, by the way. I've practiced this a couple times. There we go, right on down to ground level. Okay, so now here I'm at my floor and I'm gonna hop off here and just to give you a perspective of this massive structure that I'm gonna start filling out uh, with more factories. And part of the more factories I'm going to build out is, is you know, my, my doctorate is in management and management of course talks about you know, removing waste from a system all the time. And, you know, I know that I've just built haphazardly. Uh, I called it spaghetti for a while. I've got conveyors running here and there. And, you know, I want to clear out the, the amount of conveyors, but eh, probably not being able to do that efficiently the way I was building before. Part of that is that I always felt constrained by the amount of space that I had. So literally I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and build out more space. One of the neat tools that he told me, of, one of the users told me about, is when I click on the mouse scroller bar, which is what I just did, I can build the same foundation that exists there. And so, there it is. 
And then there's this R, build mode zoop of all things. Allows me just to hold my mouse button and build a whole bunch of them. Now that's way cool. So I learned about zoop mode and I learned about scroller bar uh, click, which I think is cool. So which means I don't have to open my packs all the time and all the time. So if I want to build, let's say I want to build a platform like that, I can just click and my build mode is still zoop, I guess, even though I thought I had let it go away. And so I can hold my mouse button down there and go zipping all along there and whoever came up with the idea of calling it zoop mode ought to be promoted just because it's fun and I like fun and I like programmers who have fun so programmers are a good thing I used to manage programmers a lot and programmers I like progr lazy programmers because you know why programmers are lazy? Because they've kept all their former code and they like to reuse former code and tips and tricks that they've acquired over the years. Soup mode is awesome. Remember, guys, I got there by clicking, just tapping R on my keyboard. And I've used the tip on the using the scroll bar button to to select what I wanted to to make several times, and that's been cool. It's a mine worth exploiting here. It's like a limestone mine anyway. I don't want to encroach it by encroach it by too much. Okay. Looks like we find going out here at least. Bears in the way. I can't do it on my head. I'm still in zoop mode. I didn't realize it stayed in zoop mode, that's kind of, kind of cool that I don't have to reselect it all the time. I have a hard time with perspective in this game, I don't know about you, but I have a hard time telling how close to things I am. Okay, that kind of builds out through this valley. But when we talk about balancing, I've got a balance problem, you know, back here. I, I simply have you know, even a Mark I miner at producing 34 per minute, obviously the smelter is not strong enough to turn any more into ore 30 per minute. Okay, so what's going on here? These are stopping because these are stopping. Okay, so you keep going up line, and let's configure this one. Okay, we can only get 20 plates for 30 that are being created up line. So this should be totally balanced up to this point. And so what's not balanced is behind this point, because everything up to this point is 30, 30, 30. The iron rod is produced at... Fifteen per minute. Yeah, don't you love that? Iron rods go in at ten per minute and forty screws per minute come out. And it goes down to a constructor. Okay, so it can produce five iron plates per minute. 
and in order to do so it needs to consume 60 screw per minute and 30 iron plates per minute per minute so upstream it has to it has to provide to this machine at 30 and 60 and it'll output five so basically it's a three to two relationship it's three of these machines feed two of those machines This math is weird. This math is just very interesting, okay? Alrighty, I am going to call it a night. Obviously my math is not correct yet. I need to figure out how the math works better. So I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna do some homework and I'll be back to you again probably tomorrow or Monday. Talk to you later, bye.